very good morning to class plus to see yes beta so finally we have reached the day we are going to conclude evans tries and o level we have been doing this chapter i guess more than 7 8 days it's such a lengthy and intrigue chapter fine but at the same time it is quite interesting also so uh, now we are we have reached that level where i won't be you know revising from the beginning because most of you have also read it along with me those same students have joined so let's continue our chapter so uh, evans impersonate macleary and stayed in cell so we have read that how evans was smart enough that how he started impersonating how he was behaving like macleary he changed his appearance within that blanket under that hat the garb of that new appearance how he changed you know his appearance how he applied that beard on his face glued to his face and everything he did and within some minutes he changed his attire and he like uh, you know started impersonating macleary and he stayed in the cell only and now the question is who was that uh, real macleary uh, uh, the person uh, invigilator who was supposed to come the invigilator macleary who visited evans was actually one of his friends so you know he was smart enough to manage having associations outside the jail within the jail at many places so in which later who visited evans was one of his friends the original macleary the person who was supposed to take exam that in which later was being hostage at his own home fine usko apne ghar pe hi baand diya tha unhone he was he could not come he could never come to take exam or you can say uh, be the invigilator of that exam okay so evans once again now befools governor and rest of the authorities including carter the detective so evans three times already he has you can say befooled the authorities and he has escaped from the jail fourth time also he was able to befool them but he has not run away abhi tak right so uh, he you know started uh, impersonating that i am macleary and you know i know where he has gone wo ye show kar raha hai ki the person who has gone outside was evans but actual mein wo evans nahi tha wo uska friend tha and evans himself was telling the story okay so finally we have a, a newest guest in our a list shreya arora so we should welcome you know you should all thumbs up for this uh, student for the first time he is going to enter our class and we are so privileged to have such students you know so we welcome you shrey everybody please put thumbs up for this boy let's cheer him up let's show him that he is the one we have been waiting for so long his presence you know has made this class gracious one so this is i guess the first it will be first and last day see see the responses of the children so shrey please be serious i don't think so there will be any benefit about ending class once in a year right so that was it in which later uh, evans once again befools governor and rest of the authorities including carter you know that now how smartly he started playing the play part of macleary that and he started befooling general uh, sorry governor as well as carter the detective that i know where evans had run away i know where he has gone i uh, i was able to decode it and all i will help you so governor trusts him governor sochta okay he is mcleary only and you know he put up that blood of pig from that rubber ring he cut applied over his head and ear and he was pretending that he is wounded also at the same time so carter usko leke jata hai gaadi pe and he started saying he reached to newbury at that place as drowned about and then he pretends okay i have seen evans somewhere but we lost it you know so actually evans he sab game khel raha tha so evans then finally it was decided ki okay we should drop this wounded man at redcliff hospital and uh, they have called the authorities of the hospital that they should send the uh, ambulance to you know pick up that wounded man macleary so you know something comes to the mind of governor that he i should you know cross check from a uh, hospital so he calls the hospital authorities and asks that have you 
uh, you know, is uh, that person all right? Have you received him from this roundabout person named McLeary? Then the hospital authorities uh, informed them that they, yes, they did have sent their ambulance to pick up that wounded man, but nobody came. Nobody was there. You know, that is the big shock for a governor. So he thought, Ki, what's going on? What is the reality? If, you know, uh, nobody could catch. So he, at that moment, it clicked him, Ki, oh, man's had befooled them, you know, like anything. So today all are joining the class. That's a good thing, but it should continue in future as well. Okay. So, uh, you know, finally, he was, uh, what he decides. So when the Carter starts finding, he could find uh, Ivan's anywhere. So finally, what happens? Ivan's reaches the Hotel Golden Lion. This is the question paper. Mein likha tha. And, you know, receptionist was a different lady this time. Something he notices when Ivan's entered the hotel's reception, he saw that there was a lady. Earlier, there was somebody else who was receptionist, and now this time somebody else was there. So that thing, you know, strikes him, but he never paid attention. Okay, let it be, it can be a shift, a change, or whatever. He entered the room of his hotel, and he was so feeling, you know, comfortable. Ki finally, uh, for the fourth time, I have befooled the hotel authorities, uh, sorry, jail authorities. Three times already I escaped and fourth time to bhaagi gaya So, but he will be getting the shock of his life. What he finds, let's continue. So I'm going to share the screen, beta, please see. And be there till last if you want to understand this chapter. Yes, there is. I don't think there is anyone. Yes, there is. You will find one of our ambulances picked up from Elsfield Way. Oh, that, yes. We sent an ambulance. All right. So this is the conversation between governor and jail authorities. And then they got to know what happened to McLeary. A quarter of an hour later, they found Reverend McLeary Securely bound at his own study in, in Broad Street. Usko ke aa gaye the ho, that he was not about to come to take exam. Enquiries in Newbury throughout the afternoon produced nothing, nothing at all. And by tea time, everyone in the prison knew what had happened. So Shantak Sapko Pata Lagyata ki what had happened exactly. Uh, this the fish and chips were delicious, and after a gentle stroll around the center of shipping also the Ivans decided to return to the hotel and have an early night. A smart new hat concealed the wreckage of his closely cropped hair. So he was thinking that everybody was befooled by him. And how he walked up to the reception desk of the Golden Lawyer finally. It would take a good while for his hair to regain its former glories. He was so particular about his long hair. Just because he has to pretend as McLeary, he had to cut it long hair when he was, you know, doing under that uh, blanket only he did this. So, but what the hell it matters? He was out. So that was more important than even hair. A bit of bad luck that when Jackson had pinched his scissors for it had meant a long and tricky operation with his only razor. So scissors were taken away, you remember, by one of the officers, Jackson. He was just had to cut his hair with a razor only. So that's why it was not properly chopped. That really had been a close call. Still, old Jackson was not such a bad fellow. So he's just uh, telling the readers that how he managed to cut his hair. One of the worst things for it really had been the beard. He had always been allergic to sticking plasters. Or, you know, I told you that, uh, you know, he, this Evans was very particular about his nails and hair and beard. He was very particular. But even then, he changed his attire just because of this thing only to get rid of this jail. The receptionist was not the same girl who had booked him in. The thing is, 
when he booked the hotel the receptionist was something else but the change was definitely for the better as he collected his keys ko laga maybe that will be some change by the hotel authorities he collected his key from the reception put up his smile and told her he wouldn't be bothering with breakfast ordered the daily express why he said that wo raste mein apne shipping daughter se chips and breakfast karke aaya tha so he was not having that hunger he said that i don't want my breakfast in the room so he just ordered the daily express newspaper and asked for an early morning call he said just call me the uh, early morning 6:45 am mujhe utha dena or i just want newspaper mujhe kuch khane ko nahi chahiye tomorrow was going to be another busy day because he had some other plans for the next day he has to run away from the hotel as well he whistled softly to himself as he walked up the broad stairs he had sort of liked the idea of being dressed up as a minister dog collar everything yes it had been a jolly good idea for macleary to wear two black shirts two collars but that top collar few it had kept on slipping off the back stuff so wo abhi ja raha hai hotel other room ke and he's thinking that how he dressed up himself as minister macleary that in vigilator and how he dressed up you know the people who were into education system or who were parsers or who were into this they would dress up like uh, differently they would dress up uh, while wearing long coats and hats and collars so that helped him actually to escape so he just was thinking about this they had got that little problem worked out all right though a pen stuck in the mouth whenever the evil eye had appeared at the peephole but all that fiddling about under the blanket was the black front and sudden at the back of the collar so he say ki jab usko officers dekhte the he was just having the pen in his mouth but reality is he was fiddling with all the changes within the blanket collar chadana coat dalna and hair cropping and everything he did with his that span or pretend aise kar raha tha ki wo muh pe pen dal ke soch raha hai and everything else had gone beautifully smoothly though in, in the car he had found everything they had promised him soap and water clothes the map yes the map of course the order is served map of oxfordshire he had got some good friends some very clever friends christ even uh, when he got off from carter's car another car was waiting for him who had arranged soap and water and clothes and everything was prepared for him and it means he had very good friends uske bahut associations hai bahar aise logo ki hoti bhi hai they are smart enough to manage you know He unlocked his bedroom door and closed it quietly behind him, and then stood frozen to the spot like a man who was just caught glimpse of the gorgon. Now, big shock to Evans. उसको लगा कि you know how clever I am that I wore that long coat and hat and everything, and I appeared like Macleary and I befooled everyone. the moment he is going to open the room of his hotel what does he see let's see he was was visibly shaken he sat down slowly in the only chair at small room could offer and held his head between his hands for several minutes there was utter silence as you can see who you think it is anybody guesses for a person the person who is sitting already in the room of evans who do you think he is harji gorav bataiye just a guess agar gorav sun raha ho to batayega nahi sun raha it means to be absent yes gorav any idea दिवेलीन आई यू लिस्टिंग कौन है वो पर्सन बताइए जल्दी से वेन इवाज ओपन द डोर एंड यस रसिका बट यू हैव टू नेम इट सम चिल्ड्रन आर राइटिंग इन द चैट बॉक्स बट इवन देन यू हैव टू टेल दैट अनम्यूट यूर सेल्फ एंड स्पीक अमरप्रीत यू टेल बेटा कौन है ये पर्सन अकॉर्डिंग टू यू
Rasika says Carter. Gaurav says his friend or manager of the hotel. Or interesting answers are coming up. <coughs> manager of the hotel. See, let me just yes, Suhani, exactly correct answer. Suhani has given. It's neither manager of the hotel nor any officer, Jackson or Stephens. It is governor himself. So Ivaz was thinking that he is the one who can befool others. And he has reached to his room safely, but he was, we should not underestimate others. It was governor who was already waiting for him. Finally, he spoke. It was that bloody correction slip, I suppose. Finally, okay, just because of that bloody correction slip, you could reach here. Well, the governor failed to mask the deep satisfaction in his voice. There are a few people who know a little German. The governor said, there are some people who know German, you know, they know a little German. So who knows German? Apart from uh, events, governor himself. Governor has also read a bit of German when he was in junior classes. So slowly, very slowly, Ivan's relaxed. He was beaten and he knew it. He sat up at last and managed to smile carefully. You know, it was not really a mistake. You see, we had not been able to fix up any hotel, but we could have worked that some other way. Though the really important thing was for the phone to ring just before the exam finished to get everyone out of the way for a couple of minutes. We had to know, know exactly when the exam started, didn't we? So usko lag hai ki I have outwitted Gwadar. Gwadar ko lag hai ki now I have outwitted events. And like a fool, I presented you with that little piece of information on a plate. So he says, see, uh, Ivans is saying, I presented you that little piece of information about hotel on a plate. I served you the information actually on a plate. Well, somebody did. So you see, sir, that correction slip killed two little birds with a single stone. The name of hotel for me and exact time the exam started for. So with that slip, I did two things. I was getting instructions for the exam and all, and I was getting my codes as well. Governor noted, it's a pretty common bird. Good job. It is pretty common, sir. Or I had never have known where to come to, would I? Nice name, do Zoom Golden in Lawen. How did you know which golden lawyer it was? There are hundreds of them. Hundreds means hundreds. Now, how did the golden lawyer hotel ka name kaise decode kiya tha, governor? Ne? There are hundreds of golden lawyer hotels. Same as you, events. Kaya tha, tu bhi kiya tha, tere liye code aaya tha na? Index number 313, center number 271. Remember, six figures. And if you take an order and survey map for Oxfordshire, you find that six, six figure reference is this. Lads you back in the middle of shipping Norton. So here, uh, governor Batara, the way you are smart enough to decode that hotel address by your friends, sent by your friends. Similarly, I also know a bit of German and I'm smart enough and intelligent enough to you know, decode that index number and number and I reach this particular hotel only, though there are hundreds of golden line hotels. Yeah, you are right. We had opened, you had run off to Newbury. We did. Well, that's something I suppose. That question paper, Ivans, could you really understand all that German? I could hardly. The course, I could not. I knew roughly what it was all about. So I could not understand anything. Few spanners in the world, you know, sort of muddle everybody a bit. Governor stood up. Tell me one thing before you go. Before we go. Governor that I have reached the same place. So you have to tell me one thing. Governor Pushta, Ivan's the same. How on earth did you get all that blood to pour over your head? You know, you remember that he had smashed that rubber tube, which Bakalir used to Fred Lake. And in that tube, he was having pig's blood and he applied on his head, actually. So, governor is curious to know ki blood kaha se aya. So, governor is asking Ivan. So, Ivan's tell that, clever, sir, very clever that was. You know, how to get a couple of pits of blood into a cell when there is blood to start off with. 
नहीं तो वहां पे मेरे पास कोई ऑब्जेक्ट भी नहीं था ब्लड निकालने के लिए यस यू कैन वेल आस्क अबाउट दैट आई डोंट नो इफ आई ऑट टू टेल यू आफ्टर ऑल आई माइट वांट टू यूज दैट पार्टिकुलर कहता मुझे दोबारा भी तो यूज करना है उस चीज को एनीथिंग टू डू विद अ लिटिल रबर रिंग फॉर पाइल्स परहैप्स वो बताता नहीं है पहले इवांस बट गवर्नर वाज एबल टू क्रैक इट गवर्नर वाज अ स्मार्टर पर्सन ही सेज यू हैड अ रबर रिंग he was great feebly the clever clever governor you are also very clever must have been a tricky job sticking a couple of pits da the you have got it wrong sir no problem about that to jo bahut mushkil aayi hogi how to uh, apply that blood no it's clotting you see clotted clotted blood that's the big trouble we got the blood easy enough pig's blood it was from the slaughter's house in kidlington but to stop it clotting you have got to mix her actual blood ivans took a breath now dekhta zara is person ki smartness kya hai ki tab with one tenth of its odd volume of 3.8 percent trisodium citrate did it know that did you sir kehte hai ki agar hum blood leke aayenge fresh blood ko kaise dikhayenge you know when you put the blood inside the rubber tube of pig's blood it will clot and you won't be able to show it exactly the real blood so you have to do a lot of alterations by adding up this scientific formula into it so he was so smart enough you know so he tells his formula that how did he manage to get that particular fresh blood look like the governor shook his head in a token of reluctant admiration look at the wow but what a man a clever man admire karta uski cleverness ko Come on, bees. Ivans made no show of resistance. Side by side, the two men walked slowly down the stairs. So, brother, come, Ivans. Now, this is the time you have to go to jail. Both of them started walking. I have got lots of. I have seen that you have had no letters. You you have had no visitors. How did you manage to plan this business? Tell me. Governor is so curious. Governor, how did you manage this business? कोई तुझे मिलने नहीं आता था यू हैड नो लेटर्स रिसीविंग एट ऑल हाउ डिड यू मैनेज आई हैव गॉट लॉट्स ऑफ फ्रेंड्स दो व्हाट्स दैट सपोज टू बी कहता कहां से तेरे फ्रेंड्स आए कहता यू नो जर्मन टीचर सेड ओ माय गॉड शॉक्ड वाज द गवर्नर जो जर्मन टीचर उसको पढ़ाने आता था कहता यू रिमेंबर यू बी ही वाज फ्रॉम द टेक्निकल कॉलेज How can he be your friend? वो तो एक एजुकेटर है टेक्निकल कॉलेज में. Was he? He was was almost enjoying it now. So, governor was getting shock of his life. He was is enjoying his cleverness. कि तो oh my god, that man was also your friend. Always will be, sir. Everything ready. Ask the governor as they stood by the reception desk. जैसे ही रिसेप्शन पे पहुँचते गवर्नर अपने बंदों को पूछते हैं. that is everything ready where is out the front sir said the pretty blonde receptionist ivans winked at her she winked back at him almost made his day ab dekhi yahan pe do you know this is the end of the chapter do you think that this is the end of the chapter jisko lag raha hai ki yes they can send me thumbs up governor has caught up evans from golden lion hotel evans is thinking that okay finally he's caught up and governor is saying that you know i have caught you and uh, now let's go back but tell me while going back he kaise managed kiya so he tells that how he managed the blood and how he managed जर्मन फ्रेंड जो टीचर आता था पढ़ाने वो भी मेरा फ्रेंड था इनविजिलेटर जो आया वो भी मेरा फ्रेंड था सो आई हैड अ लॉट ऑफ एसोसिएशंस अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स एंड इट वाज अ बिग प्लान यू नो आई एम स्मार्ट इनफ स्मार्टर देन यू सो गवर्नर वाज गेटिंग शॉक ऑफ हिज लाइफ आफ्टर लिसनिंग टू ऑल दिस एंड व्हेन गवर्नर आस्क्ड एट द रिसेप्शन कि एवरीथिंग इज रेडी देन ही गॉट टू नो दैट एवरीथिंग इज रेडी वेयर इज वेटिंग आउटसाइड टू टेक इवांस एंड गवर्नर बैक टू द प्रिजन Ivan's wigs, you know, Aunt Martha, who's called receptionist, called receptionist, also wigs back. So there is something fishy about this thing. A silent prison officer had cuffed the recaptured Ivan's. Dubara se recaptured, but dubara se pakda gaye Ivan's. Uspe handcuff lagate hai, hat kadi. Both of them they clambered awkwardly to the back seat of the prison van. 
तो पीछे वैन में प्रिजन वैन में बैठ जाते हैं सी यू सूर इवास इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट एज इफ द गवर्नर वर से फेयरवेल टू अर ओल्ड फ्रेंड आफ्टर अ पॉकटेल पार्टी कहता गवर्नर देखा सी यू सूर Cheerio, sir. I just was wondering. I know your German is pretty good, but do you know any more of these modern languages? Not very well. Why? Because, sir, cheerio. Why? Right? You know, uh, I was amazed that you have German. Ati, that modern languages bhi aati. Because no, not very well, sir. Ivan settled himself comfortably on the back seat and grinned happily. Nothing really, sir. I just happened to notice that you have got some O level Italian classes coming up next September. That's all. क्या तब मैं इसलिए पूछ रहा हूँ क्योंकि next September you will be you know arranging Italian classes for me now. German classes are over. Perhaps you won't be with us next September, Ivan. आगे से गवर्नर कहते हैं I don't think so. You will be with us. James Rodrigue Ivan appeared to ponder the governor's words deeply. Now, why? Why Gordon is saying like this? No, perhaps I won't. He said, as the prisoner went turned right from Shipping Norton on to the Oxford Road, the hitherto silent prison officer unlocked the handcuffs and leaned forward towards the driver. For Christ's sake, get a move on! It won't take them long to find out. One of the officers sitting in this opened the handcuffs of, you know, van was waiting outside, and governor uh, asked him to reach that van, and they are going to take him back into the prison. And then he sits in the van, and the officer, already sitting in the prison van, opens the handcuffs and lead forward towards the driver. Driver ko kehte hai, move fast. It what? We have to move fast. It won't take them long to find out. Where do you suggest we make for? Asked the driver. It brought Scott's accent. Uska accent be Scottish hai. What does it suggest? James Roderick Evans has Scottish accent. Driver has Scottish accent. What about Newbury? Suggested Evans. Kya ta kaha pe jaaye? Kya ta Newbury chale? and this is the end of the chapter what did you get out of this ending i asked you, i ask you all did you understand what happened exactly at the end rasika kya hua last me bataiye zara what did you understand before i conclude you tell Yes, जल्दी से जो उसने रिसेप्शनिस्ट yes? को के साथ किया था शायद उसने वो भी उसका फ्रेंड होएगा जो ड्राइवर था इसलिए उसने उसकी हेल्प करी ताकि वो भाग सके फिर से यस वेरी राइट सो प्रूर हैज ऑल्सो यू नो रिटर्न uh let me check the chat box prabhuri say driver was also his friend who agrees those who agree please raise your hand even yes so even governor he had a you can say governor was very smart enough to catch him in the hotel governor was equally smart enough to perceive the cleverness of evans but even then the conclusion of evans tries is that evans manages to escape the prison successfully for the fourth time in a row though governor finds him in a hotel his plans to get away or to sneak from the अथॉरिटीज यू नो दे रिमेन अनडिस्टर्ब उसके प्लान इतने तगड़े थे ही हैड एड नंबर ऑफ प्लान फाइट सो आफ्टर डिसीविंग द पुलिस इंटेलिजेंटली इवेज वेट टू द होटेल गोल्डन लॉयन विच वॉज इन शिपिंग डॉटर फाइट सो फर्स्टली ही वेट टू दैट गोल्डन लॉयन होटेल इन शिपिंग डॉटर वेन ही ओपन द डोर ऑफ द रूम ही फाउंड गवर्नर ओवर देर ही वॉज 
shocked ki governor ko kaise pata lag gaya but even that he had another plan of escape when governor uh, uh, catch him over there red headed he had you know when waiting outside for him already his driver was also one of his friends and then he, they asked where to run away and then he was suggested new bari fine so finally his destination was to reach there and you remember when they were coming when he was coming with carter to usne beech mein aaya tha round about new bari and all to wo apne code words jo the wo openly he was using it he had been using it openly with everyone and he confused every person to that an extent neither governor nor stephens or jackson or nor that carter that detective could understand or could have any single idea that what he is up to clear so finally uh, he runs away from the jail though governor tried or gave gave his best shot for the tight security to train the officers to read that uh, uh, decode that slip whatever uh, efforts were put up by the governor were also very good you know he gave a very uh, you can see he put up a brave show he put up so many numerous efforts tight security and locking the doors again and again and bahut sare doors the before he could come out but it's not about the physical strength it was about the mental smartness so what do we get out of this chapter that we should not underestimate others and it is this chapter is all about the clever escape of a prisoner named james rodrick evans at fourth time also he made that escape and kept his name intact that's why people call him albert einstein and he was the break with this i and this we the chapter is concluded we will do question answers tomorrow have a nice day